first, we need to begin by coding the basic document structure for our new website using HTML, Hypertext Markup Language. HTML is used to mark up the basic structure of web pages to tell the browser which part of the page is which and consists for the most part of a series of opening and closing matching tags or elements inside angle brackets, enclosing the various portions of the document. Every HTML document must begin with a doctype declaration to tell the browser what version of HTML is being used. The doctype declaration for HTML5 is very simple. Exclamation mark, doctype, HTML. Following the doctype declaration, every HTML page is enclosed in opening and closing HTML tags, and these enclose a series of other tags nested inside them. Inside the HTML tags, every HTML document needs to have opening and closing head tags, which enclose title tags. Inside these go the title of the web page. This will appear in the title bar at the top of the browser, not in the document window. After that is an obligatory pair of body tags, inside which goes everything that we see in the document window. HTML5 makes more use than previous versions of HTML of semantic tags. The primary purpose of these tags is not visual styling. They generally provide no styling at all, leaving us free to alter their appearance as we wish. But they do perform a very important role. They tell the browser what type of information is contained in each section. This enables us to assign functional descriptions to the various parts of our web pages which is useful for us as coders because it makes the code much easier to read and it's particularly important for accessibility as it can be used to enable screen reading software to find the various sections so that they don't for instance read out long menus every time a page loads but go straight to the important part of the page so HTML5 elements have names like header where we can put the logo and banner for the website nav for the navigation area Section, where we can put the main content, and footer, for the copyright statement, and things like that. I'll draw your attention now to the importance of care in your HTML markup. This largely means making sure that your tags are nested properly, so that pairs of outer elements fully enclose the elements inside them. This is an example of valid markup, because we have a pair of section tags fully enclosing a pair of paragraph tags, which in turn enclose the text of the paragraph. This example is not valid, because we have the closing paragraph tag overlapping outside the section tag, and the browser will not be able to make sense of that. So take great care to avoid overlapping tags like that. One final point is that if you've used previous versions of HTML, you may be used to closing those relatively few tags which do not occur in pairs, such as the BR tag for a line break, with a space and a forward slash, or just a forward slash at the end. In HTML5, these tags are self-closing and do not need a forward slash, so just use BR. Another example is the IMG tag, used to link to an image. Just use the tag without a forward slash at the end. Whilst putting in the forward slash will do no harm, it's unnecessary, and it can be dispensed with. So I'll give it a grey cross instead of the red warning cross I gave for the entirely incorrect markup in the previous example. You can find many guides to HTML5 on the web. Here's a discussion of semantic markup. And here's a list of elements and descriptions of their functions. In the next video, we'll put this into practice by writing the basic HTML document structure for our website. If you're familiar with HTML5 or even with basic HTML and you don't want to type all this in, just go to the working files and use the version in chapter 4 of the working files, and then you can proceed to the next chapter on styling.